For the first time in 40 years, we found wild born adult Parchula tibiana, which is a fantastic outcome for the species. It means for the first time we can state that a moss species that became extinct in the wild has now been successfully reintroduced. We can actually upgrade it from the extinct in the wild and hopefully look at it from here on in as a critically endangered species. To finally have a population of Parchula tibiana back out in the wild is an incredibly important moment for us as a team and for me personally I've been looking after these snails for 10 years. We have members of the team that have been looking after them for up to 30 years. To finally have that dream realised of having populations that are wild born is incredibly exciting for us. Here at London Zoo we've been working on the reintroduction of Parchula for almost a decade. Um, so since 2015 when the first reintroduction occurred islands. Over the past 10 years we've released over 30,000 snails back into the wild that have been bred from various different collections within Europe and within the UK as well as the US. Since the early 1980s and through the 1990s we've been working with Parchula snails. Parchula have a long history and a cultural heritage within the region. They are obviously an incredibly important part of the biodiversity there but the local peoples have been using Parchula shells as part of their shell lays, so necklaces of shells for greetings and for going and coming within the region for generations. We first noticed Parchula becoming extinct during the 1980s and 90s, and this occurred because a predatory species, a species of snail that eats other snails, called the rosy wolf snail, was introduced onto the islands and slowly and steadily ate its way through the Parchula population. It's proof that this species is now breeding out in the wild and this is now what we can say to an established population and, and have been truly reintroduced.